Well, life began at Maxim Medical Center with uh, Dr. Roy, and she can talk to us a little bit about what we do right now. So we're here with Abby and Marina, and we're doing the Vampire Face Show, and that is microneedling to stimulate some collagen to help with texture with a topical platelet-rich plasma. Platelet-rich plasma is really a rejuvenating fluid. It comes from you back to you. The platelets contain growth factors, and when we create a little bit of damage to the dermis and drip some platelet-rich plasma on there, those growth factors go to work to rejuvenate and regenerate. And so Marina was complaining about a little bit of texture. Her skin really needed to be perked up. And she has a little volume deficiency as well in the in the tear troughs, which the way the light falls on her face makes little dark circles under the eyes. And so we're going to fix that today for her. But we're starting with the facial, so we can really perk up the skin. And the microneedling with the plate rich plasma is excellent for anyone who has texture issues, even active acne, um, some some brown spots even. It's not specifically for hyperpigmentation, but it really can make a change to facilitate skin turnover. And we're at Medical Maxim Medical, which is a great facility. It's my first visit down here in Fort Lauderdale with Dr. Max and Abby here behind the Derma Family Micro Needling Device. Are you comfortable? Right. No discomfort at all? No? Nope. Okay, good. And we can see the erythema and a little bit of uh, pinpoint bleeding. It's not necessary to get lots of bleeding. You probably have seen Kim Kardashian getting her vampire facial several years ago, and you saw a lot of blood. Well, that's not actually necessary. What we want to do is stimulate the superficial dermis because we're trying to change that skin, and we're trying to create a real youthful glow. So it's not uncomfortable at all. No one's in pain. You get a nice redness. So the patient's always comfortable when you do this procedure. It can look a little scary, but Marina sat with a little topical anesthetic for a while. You can see some of the uh, plastic wrap on there just for best absorption. She's really very comfortable. And we had already several procedures done with Vampire Facial. Uh, they all were very successful. You can actually see the results as soon as two or three days after the erythema is gone. The skin is noticeably tight, there is a better structure, and there is actually what people call glory of the skin. And, uh, it is amazing. I had a patient uh, just uh, uh, a week ago. Um, she had a scar from age of five uh, to the right uh, side of the face, uh, and the scar is pretty much gone because nobody can notice. This is, and I was amazed myself because right. I did not expect right. this type of uh, response to the treatment. So it's very encouraging and um, we uh, really invite everyone to come here to us and we'll explain more about the actual procedure, what we do and what the expectations are. But uh, so far, I'm, um, I was trained back in September with Dr. Roy and um, I've been seeing more than I actually expected. Yeah. The, uh, that's what makes it fun. You know, I've been doing this now for six years, and it almost seems too good to be true when you're in your training and everybody's telling you what great results they get, and then when you get back and you start treating patients, everybody is happy. I've never had an unhappy patient with this type of treatment. And as Dr. Max said, you get that youthful glow. Right at around two weeks is where that really shines, and people will stop you and ask you, what have you done, you look great, you know, your skin is awesome, and it really is that youthful glow that you can't get doing any other treatment. You know, I've done Botox for years, and filler for years, and everybody loves Botox and fillers, and there's still a place for that, but there wasn't really anything to perk up the skin and to get that youthful glow until play the rich plasma. And when combined with microneedling, it's really fabulous. Now you have to be careful where you go for platelet-rich plasma because unfortunately there isn't a real standard yet in the industry. Dr. Max uses the best kind of platelet-rich plasma. He does a great job. All of the procedures that he does here with platelet-rich plasma are top-notch. You're getting the very best quality. But you have to be careful and you have to inquire and make sure that the physician seems to understand what it is that he or she is doing and why. And there's a lot of science behind Play the Rich Plasma, so 
that's a key point that most consumers don't know about. So the, the microneedling takes a little bit of time, as you can see. Um, and once we finish with that microneedling, we are going to inject right up underneath Marina's eyes. We'll do a little in the nasolabial fold as well. And rich plasma in general is not really a filler. And that's another warning that I want to tell you. Um, you will see people talking about platelet-rich plasma as a natural filler. I want to just clear up any misunderstanding about that. If you have some small areas like the tear troughs or right like under the eye or minor hollowing in the temporal area or even minor around the nasolabial folds, platelet-rich plasma is excellent for that. We can place that volume, that volume leaves after about 48 hours or so, but then over time we do get a stimulation of some collagen and some volume. But it doesn't necessarily replace fillers most of the time. We can use it in conjunction with fillers, so we get to create the shape of the filler, we get to relax the muscles with um, a neurotoxin, Botox, Dysport, ZMN, one of those, and then we put the icing on the cake by using the platelet-rich plasma to rejuvenate and regenerate and get that glow. Okay, so we're gonna uh, stop for now, and we'll come back once we're ready to the actual facial uh, vampire basically.